If you're watching this video, you're looking for some cool business ideas. How to jump on the next rocket, catch a new wave, match the latest trends and demands, which verticals to consider as your next project, how to launch a meaningful business. Today, we're gonna to talk about the sharing economy and the business opportunities within this sphere. Let's go. So what is the sharing economy? In a nutshell, it basically connects consumers to providers via online ecosystems or platforms. In the sharing economy, users typically share with each other. They share their idle capacities and resources. For example, fixed asset, services, or even money. And they do so on an on-demand basis, usually via an IT platform. It is often on the basis of trust, ascribing particular importance to the personal interaction and the community experience, with an eye on sustainability. The most prominent examples of this model are vehicle for hire provider Uber and Airbnb, the home sharing platform that has disrupted the accommodation industry. These two companies don't maintain their inventories of vehicles or rooms, but they have revolutionized the traditional transport and tourism industries. Which business sectors and verticals have the greatest potential for growth? According to a PwC report, the main directions are mobility industry, car sharing, ride hailing, ride sharing, on-demand car and bicycle rental, and others, including Uber, Lyft, BlaBlaCar, Waze, are the most prominent cases. Rental and consumer goods, food sharing, shopping communities, everyday functional objects, such as household tasks. Examples are peer buy, share your meal, thread flip, Poshmark, picnic, yumber, and just a few examples. Tourism and hotel industry, monetized and non-monetized home sharing, communities, tourism services, co-working offices such as Airbnb, couch surfing, home exchange, and Captar. Entertainment, Multimedia and telecommunication are about online music and video streaming, wireless community networks. Who doesn't know Spotify, Deezer, YouTube, Netflix? Financial, energy, and human resources sectors are also developing towards the sharing model. Let's figure out why it's developing so rapidly. The spread of advanced digital platforms and devices, efforts to use material resources more efficiently, new consumer needs, closer cooperation, and a shift in attitudes to ownership, more environmentally friendly consumption choices. The sharing economy, Companies that are emerging on the back of radical changes in consumer habits, couchsurfing, Airbnb, Uber, and their peers, have overturned entire sectors with the so-called creative disruption in the space of only a few years. The sharing economy is expected to flourish because this resonates with the trend of continuous personalized customer experiences. This growing trend towards digitalization is primarily being driven by people born after 1980, basically millennials and Generation Z. These generations are constantly online and having so much of what they do on a daily basis at their fingertips. What about future trends? According to the market research firm IDC, by 2023, the global economy will reach digital supremacy, the point at which products and services provided by digitally transformed enterprises will account for more than half of the total global GDP. In the key sectors affected by the sharing economy, 50% of the revenue share will go to the sharing economy players by 2025, up from 5% in 2013, according to a study by PwC. The sharing economy is already influential in many countries. For example, in 2019, the Chinese sharing economy involved 800 million people and 78 million service providers, creating 6.23 million jobs. China estimates that the sharing economy will account for 10% of its domestic GDP in 2020. That figure is expected to grow by 20% by 2025. For those nations in the Middle East actively pursuing national digital transformation, the evolution of the sharing economy is significant, particularly because the age group that drives digital transformation accounts for nearly 75% of the region's population. This new the economic model is changing how people both consume products and access services, reshaping employment models and industry ecosystems at the same time. The effects of the sharing economy on nations are multifold, but let's focus on three key areas that pertain to digital transformation, data regulation, digitalization, and digital infrastructure. To sum up what we were talking about, the sharing economy will continue to grow exponentially. 50% of revenue share will go to the sharing economy players by 2025. The main drivers for this are internet usage penetration, digitalization of key business sectors, and the shift from owning to sharing things among generation Y and Z. Investments into respective projects look more than reasonable in the long-term perspective. 